Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm going to be doing a video related to all IT Cosmetics. I'm going to share with you my IT Cosmetics collection and also a haul video and kind of do mini reviews along the way. I get most of my products from IT, Cosm it Cosmetics products from QVC. I feel like they always have the best sets and the best value and they ship out pretty quickly as well um so i'm gonna start with the new stuff that i got first and i'm really excited about this one this is the it's all about you your customer favorites collection and you get four full-size products i do count the brush as full size you get the honey the genesis qual honey lip product you get the brow pencil the brow powerful the cc illumination um full coverage cream and the brushes here and let me just show you these these things first oh you also they also gave you um this is not the illumination one but your skin but better cc cream and i feel like you could get a couple of uses out of that and then here is the secret sauce their anti-aging moisturizer so the first thing is the lip product which i am wearing i feel like it gives you a really natural color on your lips and it's more on the I don't want to say orange but it's definitely more leaning towards brown and nude uh, and it looks like this and there is color in there and I love <laughs> the lip product it feels amazing on your skin and I like that I like that it has, gives you a little color the closure the magnetic closure love that next is the brow pencil and I didn't use this because I do have another air cosmetics brow the brow power uh pencil but it looks like that and you get the color universal and then I am wearing the foundation I used a brush and I have to do a little disclaimer I am not a fan of it cosmetics brushes I feel like they're on the looser side or flimsy side um, they're beautiful though they feel nice and they clean up beautifully but I for personally for my face needs or makeup needs I like full coverage and looser brushes don't give me that that's why I like fuller denser brushes um but this brush surprised me I don't know if my hopes were so low that I wasn't expecting it to be good but I do like this brush and I can see myself using this and I think this would actually also be good for contouring um but I did use it for the foundation and I liked it for that a lot um, I'm going to try this foundation with the Beauty Blender and my hands just to see if I could get a better coverage out of it. For me, the bottle says full coverage and I think they sell it as that. But for my skin, it was medium coverage. When I did a, one layer, I saw my hyperpigmentation issues and you guys could see it too and redness peeking through. So for me, it wasn't full coverage. Now, it is kind of hot where I am right now. And I'm starting to sweat a little bit, but I can see the makeup breaking down. I've only been wearing it for about four or five hours, so I don't consider that a long time. I don't know, but I feel like it's breaking down on my skin. Um, so that's first impressions. And then I think that's it for the new box here, um, new stuff. And then I did order one of my favorite powders. They were doing the super size version, which is basically you just get two of the same thing. So I guess it is super size. I was in my mind, I was expecting like a bigger compact but you do literally get two so i got the color me um light you can't mix the colors that's also something i wish companies would start doing is letting you mix colors um i would have gotten a light and a medium i do already have a medium and it looks like this and i'm gonna start using this in the summertime so i use this more in the summertime fall when i still have a tan and i got the light because i wear that most uh, the other times starting in the fall so this is the medium and it comes with a brush and this brush again also good for contouring around the nose as well and then i want to show you the light so you get two of the foundations powders and you get the brush and i have the brush don't particularly love this because of the reasons that i said but you get that and that might be a downside to some people ordering through qvc you always get a brush with whatever set and then you might get the same brush so you'll have multiples of the same brush if you love it that's great if you don't nah um so this i don't think i even told you the name of this product i'm just talking um this is the celebration foundation and illumination and i saw on the qvc website it was rated it wasn't rated as high as i thought it would be but i love this powder i can attest to 
um, the full coverage that it has. It covers what I need it to cover and I am very comfortable with just wearing this and this by itself. So I do use a fuller brush because I need that fuller coverage. You could also use the powder puff. Oh, it doesn't come with a powder puff. I would put a puff in there or a sponge, the flat ones, flat applicator in there just to give it more coverage. But I wanted to show you the difference between the light and the medium. So this is going to be the light and you'll see, you can tell the difference uh, between the two with one has the imprint of the it cosmetics on there. So this is the light and this is the medium. So you could definitely tell that there is a difference between the two. And I'm not going to start using the light yet just because I have another product that I want to share with you. And I'll show you that next. Okay, so now we're going to start with the cosmetic products that I already own. And here is, this is what I use as a, I like to top a foundation with a full coverage powder. That's just what I like to do or a powder. It doesn't have to be full coverage. This is the Your Skin But Better. CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder Sheer to Full Coverage Finishing Veil. It looks like that. This is the color light. And I'm going to try to finish this product up, product up and you get uh, the puff or the sponge. Then I believe this came with, I want to say this brush, but I'm not 100% sure. This brush is really nice. I used it today to... Um, apply I didn't use this did I use this to apply the powder no I didn't I use this to put on the bronzer and the blush actually and I loved it so really do like this brush um, another powder product oh you know what I use to apply that powder with on my face this this came with the the oh my goodness the celebration illumination powder I I used um, this brush that came with that set. Okay, next powder product that I have is the Bye Bye Pores Illumination. And this is the one product that I really don't know what to do with. I don't love it. It's just, it says translucent, translucent, but there really is some color to it. So I feel like it just sits on my face. I don't know. If any of you use this and like this, let me know how to use it right. And the brush you got with that is this Bye Bye Pores Powder Brush. Again, super soft. I never reach for this brush though. I don't know. I, I don't like it for powder, uh, cream, liquids. I just, I don't love that brush. Okay, next is this brush, since we're on brushes. This came with the, the first set that I believe I bought. It's the Heavily Skin Brush and it has this <laughs> imprint on the top never reach for this brush i used it once didn't like it so i they look beautiful too don't they they just look beautiful but i don't like that brush uh for concealer i did use this is the regular bye bye under eye i use that and you only need the tiniest little bit oh my goodness i used it under my eye and around my nose but i think that just I don't know if it's the heat or the humidity, but things are breaking down on me very quickly. So this is the medium, and then I got the, I have the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination, and this is light medium. And I get medium because I am not into the super bright under eye um, or highlighting look, so I just get the one that matches the rest of my face. And I think these run a little bit lighter, so I get the medium one. For my brows, I use the Brow Power, and I really like this. I feel like it stays put, it's easy to use, and I'm not into overdoing my brows, so I like this product. It's very easy to use, very user-friendly if you are struggling with the product. This is very good. And then for mascara, I use the It Cosmetics Superhero. I guess I don't say It Cosmetics every time I show you a product, right? It's probably a little too late because I'm almost done with this video. And it looks like that. Now, I love the volume that it gives, but that's where the love stops because it doesn't hold my curl. I am wearing it today, and if I turn to the side, I think you guys could see, probably not, the volume that it gives. Um, but it doesn't hold my curl, and it's, I think, it's transferring. But I've been finding that lately with a lot of my mascara, so I can't squarely blame it on this one. But I don't reach for it that often just because it doesn't hold my curl. 
And then, oh, I do have another Jinsei Pop lip product. And this is, I believe, the original one. So I want to sh I'm going to put this. It comes out clear. I have a little pink for my thicker lip product. And it's so cool. It changes color to fit your body chemistry. And I'll show you that in a second because it takes a little bit of time. And then the last product that I have to share with you, I believe that's everything, is the Bye Bye, I was going to say the brand again, a Bye Bye Makeup 301 Melting, Makeup Melting Cleansing Box cleansing balm and this is a really great product i do like it and you could it's super sensitive it's super gentle i have really sensitive eyes and it doesn't bother me and i'm waiting to use this um because i have so many other uh, things that i want to use before i start using this one all the way i have used that a few times um so here's the lip product is changing oh uh, that's so cool um, but I've been more into, not that this has anything related to the brand, but I, my favorite way to take off makeup is oil. So I'm going to use this up. It's very nice, but I'm just going to stick with oils because that's just what I like right now. Um, even better than makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are fast, fast, but I just feel like oil really breaks down the makeup. And that's it that's all my ex, ex, ex cosmetics it cosmetics products overall i really like the brand almost everything i've tried i've liked and now i'm not so sure about this foundation but i do like it cosmetics as a brand and they just come out with really cool stuff i'm hoping they come out with a finishing spray i keep keeping my fingers crossed and i think that the things that they put in their makeup are good for you and I love getting it through QVC. I think that's a great way to try out It Cosmetics if you're on the fence. And yeah, let me know what your favorite It Cosmetics products are, things that I should try. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!